When I was preparing for one of my very first talk as a graduate student, I remember looking for comics that would go well with my talk on women's health. And I found one, and it showed a doctor sitting in front of his patient, telling her, and I quote, we have studies on fruit flies, frogs, mice, and men with this condition, but studying women as subjects just never occurred to anybody. Now, my initial response to that, as might have been some of yours, was, wow, that is an incredibly exaggerated statement. But I've learned otherwise over the years, and I hope to convince you of the same. One in 10 women have kidney disease. However, only a fraction of the studies done in kidney disease focus on women. That's equivalent to a fingernail compared to these 10 women shown here. Now, my study is looking at estrogen in women who have kidney disease. What happens is as kidney disease progresses, estrogen levels start to drop. At least that's what we think based on two or three studies that were done over two decades ago. So we decided to start on a new program of research looking at the role of estrogen on various aspects of kidney disease. Now that's because some of the symptoms of low estrogen overlap with symptoms of kidney disease, and that include mood and sleep disorders, infertility, and poor heart health. So we started off with a survey of doctors across the world asking them how often they discuss symptoms of low estrogen with their patients. And although over 90% of doctors agreed that women with kidney disease have low estrogen levels, only 20% of them ever really discussed the symptoms of low estrogen with their patients. Moreover, more than 50% of them didn't know what the role of hormone therapy, a commonly used treatment for low estrogen was, in their patients. Now what about the patients? Does having worse kidney disease mean that you have more symptoms? We found the answer was yes. As kidney disease progresses, symptoms of low estrogen like fatigue, sleep disorders, mood disorders start to increase. Now we wanted to take it a step further. We wanted to see if estrogen plays a role in death in women with kidney disease. So we split them up into groups of high and low estrogen. And what we found was in women over the age of 51, high levels of estrogen was actually detrimental, so they died more. Now this was not what we were expecting, and we're looking into this a little more to see why exactly that is. So where do we go from here? This is just the beginning. This is one of the largest, if not the first, studies done in this population. And as I said before, any previous study that was done was done in the early 90s. Now to put that in perspective, that was before the TV show Friends even existed. <laughs> These are women who have a really high burden of disease. And if the least we can do for them is study them, then I hope to continue doing so for a while. Thank you so much.